Right. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to the Covenant Business Show. Um, here on Daily Ground Radio. You can tune in to us every Wednesday from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. And today's topic is on business and a few things that'll be going on. Um, when is it? Next month? This month? Next month. Next month. Um, Atiyah is going to talk more about the small business Saturday. Um, but today we will be opening the floor to any of you who are interested in starting your own business um, and have questions about starting your own business or questions that you may have pertaining to your business that you're currently running now. Um, so Saturday, small business, Saturday. Is Saturday, November 24th. Oh, you want, okay, I'm sorry. She just asked me and don't say nothing. That's what I want to rock and tour your Um Small Business Saturday is hosted by American Express. And alhamdulillah, I've been partaking in Small Business Saturday for approximately four years. And if you go to uh, American Express Shop Small, uh, you'll find the opportunity to register your business and they give you lots and lots of promotional items. Um, I got my package yesterday and I was so happy. Yay! So they give you um, posters for your windows. They give you um, banners. They give you buttons. They give you uh, tote bags. They give you a lot of um, items. Now, um, how many that American Express has gone, come a long way? Because primarily in the past, it was only for businesses that had brick and mortar. Now, alhamdulillah, they take into consideration that small businesses is changing. So it's no longer just the mom and pop shops. It's also online businesses um, that have been really booming and also social media. So what they did, alhamdulillah, is they made the, they put the platform, made the, I'm sorry, they made the platform available for not only if you have a brick and mortar, but also if you have uh, online or and or your business is social media. So you're talking Facebook, Instagram, you're talking a website or a brick and mortar from the back. Um, as I said, it works. This is my time of year that I'm able to give good discounts for my customers, you know, the kind, when I'm not Black Friday, you know, I'm not Walmart, I'm not giving away TVs, I'm not giving away a whole bunch of cash and, and such, but I do try to not only um, have sales, giveaways, refreshments, uh, it's also a way of knowing what's in your neighborhood. During this time, you can walk the streets to see, walk your neighborhood and patronize businesses that are in your neighborhood. Not only that, but this is also for me, what I tend to do is I partner with other businesses that don't have a brick and mortar and I give it an opportunity for you to capitalize on those um, that opportunity. Um, by Saturday, everybody actually is not um, spent out because the commercialism from Black Friday has really... Um, put a bad taste in people's mouths as it relates to the commercialism of it. You know, when you look at businesses, most of it, you know, it's us. It's the small businesses that's really trying to, you know, make a way and provide a product and service for the community. So, um, Ish, what are you going to be doing for Small Business Saturday? Um, small Business Saturday, we're going to be... Um, I have multiple t-shirts, um, designs that I've been doing and working on, and we'll have those t-shirts available for everyone. Um, we made some changes to DIY Cafe, which is one of my businesses, and we will be moving to a new location um, as of December 1st, alhamdulillah. Um, and you'll be able to choose a pre-printed um, designs that you may like and get them printed on your shirt on site um, you'll be able to order those prints online and have them delivered to you um, internationally inshallah oh, that's yes. good. 
So when is, you know, covered so in it'll looseness. be customized and um, pre-prints. Um, Why leave my sitting, um, Alima? Um, so I'm really excited about that. The new location will still be in West Philadelphia. Um, we're also moving um, a step above the event space. And I want to thank everybody that has uh, supported us since we've been open in May. Um, everybody that supported um, a step above event space. You guys are awesome. But we're moving to a larger location um, that we're really excited about. I'm so excited. Yay, I'm going to do that. Growth so, is always a great thing. Yes. Um, so, yeah. So, the businesses um, are currently at 54th and Montgomery. You know, you can still support us at that location up until December 1st. And then we'll be having two different grand openings. I'll have a grand opening for DIY Cafe. And I'll be having a grand opening for a step above event planning to, um, for the new locations. Also, we have um, Covered in Business have um, business journal and planner um, that'll be available by January 1st. Yay. Actually, it's going to be available before January 1st um, for all you ladies that are planner peoples. Yay. So this, these planners are just for business owners um, and anyone that is interested in starting a business. Um, the journal part will have step-by-step -step in how to start your business, um, where to put your business, um, the best locations, um, all the tips that you should be looking for in regards to starting a business. Um, do I have anybody that has any questions Actually, for us? Uh, what I can say to them, Sophia, um, will what be wholesale? I'm a tool of treasures. Unfortunately, I would love to um, be on the level to wholesale, but at this time, I'm still just um, still retail. Um, what exactly are you looking for wholesale? There may be, I may be able to help you out um, with finding maybe a vendor for what it is that you're looking for. Um, I hope that answers your question. Oh, Aisha, your t-shirts, will they be, will you be able to wholesale them? They will, will be they available be? for wholesale. Yes, so that's the yes, Sophia. Uh, they will be available for wholesale as well. So I guess Amazon Treasures gets first to. Uh -huh. Amazon okay. Treasures will definitely yeah. have them. If we want that, I need some new um, shirts with the um, Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't actually satisfied with the final product okay. um, of my line. Um, which is why I haven't been promoting it. Okay. I was waiting for, I wanted to be pleased with my product and the product that I put out. So if you did purchase a shirt from me um, and you weren't satisfied with the quality, um, reach out to me and you will get one of the new prints. And I assure you that you will be pleased with it, um, inshallah. So speaking of that, as a business owner, why would you why would you pull a product that others don't see flaw in if you see flaw but others don't see flaw such as your customers and such why pull a product because i would want i wouldn't want somebody to wear something that i wouldn't wear okay. so if i wasn't pleased with it you know you could be like oh no it was fine no you okay. know because i know what i'm looking for um okay. in my product i know what i'm looking for and I want to give the best product, you know, I want to give the best quality, the best product. I don't want y'all to be like, oh, don't buy that sister shirt. You know, da, 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 da. You know, it was one sister that supported me and I sent her a shirt and she wasn't, you know, satisfied with the product. And I was like, okay, well, you know, I'll get you, you know, I'll, you know, refund you the money or whatever. And she was like, no, I just want another shirt. Okay. So I was like, okay. But I wasn't pleased with it. I reached out to her. I said, look, sis, I'm not pleased with the product. Um, I can't send you something that I'm not pleased with. Okay. And I just refunded her money. Okay. And I told her, you know, when I get, you know, something that I'm pleased with, I'll send you a shirt. Right. You know, that wasn't a problem. And, you know, and I think that a lot of businesses need to do better with that. <laughs> As it relates like to they're, they're, service. Yeah, and they're okay with giving shoddy service. They're okay with giving shoddy products. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, you bought it. You can't get your money back. But how would you feel if you was in that position? 
And you, I don't necessarily have to get my money back, but we can do a fair exchange. We need to rectify the yeah. situation. We can rectify it and not just leave you hanging. You know what I mean? One, because we're Muslim. Okay. You know what I mean? So I think that everybody should have um, fair quality, fair mm -hmm. service, mm -hmm. if not above, okay. you know, um, the regular. If somebody has a question. Well, I want to talk before we take that next question. I want to t um, touch on uh, you stated about refunds. A lot of times people don't understand why it is that small businesses don't offer refunds. One of the things that you have to realize is a small business, as soon as they make $5, $2.50 went towards a bill. Mm -hmm. So I don't necessarily have the cash to refund you. Um, now, I'm not talking about somebody that, you know, they were trying to get over and they were just collecting money. I'm mm -hmm. talking about, you know, you were displeased with whatever it is that you bought. It, did, it was the wrong size. You didn't like the fit or whatever the case may be then, you know, we can rectify it, we can give a store credit because you shopped with me for a reason. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it was not only for just that one time, it was for multiple times, you know. Um, and then sometimes you have people, unfortunately, have heard some, you know, bad things where people just collect money, so to speak, and either don't give the product or give shoddy products. You have to, I think we have to stop lumping everyone together. And then you also have to look at, you can't get, and I say this over and over again, if you're spending rainbow money, stop looking for name market products. It's mm -hmm. just not going to happen for no other reason than that's not what you paid for. So when you look at it in that aspect, you really have to weigh the pros and cons. How, if I go to rainbow and I buy a pair of jeans, I can't think that they're going to last me for forever. <laughs> They a couple only, of washes. I may only get a couple of washes. They'll shrink, and that's it. It was for that moment. I paid twenty dollars for the jeans, but if I paid a hundred dollars for it, then yes, we need to have a conversation as to the quality of whatever it is that I purchased. So, next I question. agree. Um, Alima asked the planners: Are they also for those who are trying to grow their business, and where can we get them? Um, I'm still in the process of designing them um, they will be available by i want to say the beginning of december inshallah um, and you'll be able to order them from our website coveredinbusiness.net you'll be able to order the uh, the planners it says um Aza Fati, i am from the capital of algeria asking for help what is the file what is the file of marriage contract of a muslim american um, as I were talking about business, not marriage. Uh, Sophia, mashallah, you made me uh, really smile. She said, I remember before you had Amakula's treasures, you were selling hijab pins. <coughs> I still have those pins. This is a great quality that has lasted. Mashallah, that always makes me happy uh, when I have a, a long term pay, uh, customer that still has the product that I, I either made or resale um, and I think that's one of the things that allows you longevity in your business is when it is that you, you can one stand behind your product and two you give uh, good quality service and product. Uh -oh, my poor baby she's having a little cough and stuff. Um, and that's something that you really have to think about. What do you want to give to your what do you want to give to your consumers? What do you want your consumers to remember you as? Do you want to re be remembered as a one time, um, one time only, one hit wonder, so to speak, or do you want longevity? And I have to say, inshallah, um, the customer service and the products and services that I've um, given people over the years, it has allowed me to maintain the longevity of my business. Come to you that when I think of it, I realize that, you know, I actually came here in, I came to Philly in 2005 and I started my, I had already been in business and I started with charm bracelets and from charm bracelets and you know then the clothes and so on and so forth but longevity comes with consistency and I think that's something that we really need to uh, maintain and before we came on air that's one of the things that Aisha um, stated that was told to her from one of her business mentors is that you have to have consistency. Consistency definitely 
You know, that's what people are looking for. So sometimes if I can, if you can't give consistency, it may be best for you not to give that product at this point in time. You know, I sell this one item, everybody wants it, but I can't give you, you know, supply and demand. It doesn't work. So now you're upset because I started, you know, I got you up, um, excited about it and then I took it away from you. Yes, Gage, what you got there? Um, a few business tips um, on leadership, business planning, productivity, marketing, and social media. Um, someone is asking a question. Mm -hmm. Assalamualaikum, Abu Takima. Um, I would like to ask a question which has become the general concern of other small business owners. Who handle more cash sales? They would value whatever financial advice one can render in terms of filing business taxes on profits. I'm confused of the question. Yeah. Can, he can he restate the question? Rest can you um, say that question again? Alima says, I know that social media is a big part of marketing in today's time, but it can become very tasking with all the sites out here. What are some suggestions for marketing and not becoming overwhelmed? Um, I believe Alima... When at the time, it's just you doing everything. Um, I believe, uh, mashallah, the first thing I have to say, and I understand a thousand percent because that's something that I've been um, faced with. The first thing is, I would say, make a schedule of when you want to post. Uh, there is a, um, a program, an application, it's called Hootsuite, H-O-O-T-E-S-U-I-T-E. -E. And what it does is you can actually pre predate your posts so that they will post when you want them to post. The only thing about that is you have to actually follow up with it. So if you post, Make sure that you're checking that um, platform. The other thing I would say is what many of us do is we overwhelm ourselves with, I need to be on Facebook, I need to be on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and so on and so forth. First, you have to look at where's your demographic? Where are your customers? If your customers are on Facebook, that's where you need to concentrate your um, posting on Facebook. If your customers are on Instagram, you can do, um, that's where you focus. The beautiful thing about Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter is when you post on Instagram, you can link them all together that they all go to the three. Now, I would also um, say, people ask me, well, you don't post often. I only post when I know I have the time that I can respond to customers because it's, it's very daunting for you to post a product or a service or an activity and, and don't someone don't respond for yes, days. You know, it's like two, three days later that you didn't respond and it's after the fact. So definitely first find what is what is where are your customers, what social media platform they are using, and then look to that platform. Whatever your target market is. Yes. And then, you know, just go from there. I hope that answers the question. Did I answer your question, Alima? One thing I would I would recommend um, if you are an established business, um, meaning that you have all your paperwork, you can actually go to um, the schools and get an intern that actually do your social media um, marketing, or you can um, find a freelancer, Google um, social media marketer freelancers. And you could probably find somebody that will charge you maybe five or ten dollars a day. Um, my favorite freelancing app is Fiverr. Mm -hmm. I told you that's who I'm going to have do my graphics. Oh yeah, um, everything starts at five dollars. Fiverr, yeah, F I V E R R. Fiverr um, is open to all freelancers for um, graphics, arts, um, applications. Um, marketing, anything that you're looking for, Music, you can find video, it on editing. everything. Yeah, a little bit of editing. everything. Fiverr. I'm gonna let me type that in for y'all. Fiverr for all your freelancing. Did I boost the team up? Ask the question. Restate the question. 
Um, Freelancing. The other thing um, for social media, um, know the times to post. Um, that's one of the things, if you're, uh, you know, I have made a post the other night that as a Muslim, after Fajr, before Fajr, people call you, talk to you, and such. Um, I also found that that's the most times, that's the um, busiest times that my followers are online. I get my most likes um, after Fajr, solely because you've completed your obligation, now you're checking your social media before you uh, go to bed. The other time that works um, a lot of times is after lunch. Lunch time is a great time if you're down, you're eating your lunch, you're scrolling, checking your messages and such like that. I think the main thing is consistency. Don't let your your, your pages, page and or pages, go without any post for long periods of time. You should post at least once a week. Um, I try to do uh, three days a week of posting, um, especially when I'm open versus when I'm closed because when you post, people assume that you are working, <coughs> which is Thank a great you. assumption. I mean, if you post it, it means that, hey, you're available for questions. And yes, people will. If you post at midnight, somebody is going to ask you a question at 12.01. So oh, yeah. definitely be, be mindful of that because you're, you're promoting your business. So they assume that you're there for services. Yeah, I did a, um, a consultation with um, Kimya, who's the owner of Proficiency Services. Mm-hmm. And she helps with like life management, time management, business management. And she made me, after 9 o'clock, I can't post anything in regards to business. Oh, yeah. After 9 o'clock, I can't. And if somebody posts um, in regards to business after 9 o'clock, um, you won't get a response from me until the next day. Mm -hmm. um, because I had to reclaim my time. Um, I actually left my job so that I can focus on these businesses full time. I now live in Delaware, um, <laughs> so I can't I can't do everything at once. Um, riding around looking for businesses, um, new businesses um, to to yeah, do everything. But back to social media. Um, I think that we since we're on social media, we need to let them know again. The if etiquette. you <laughs> yes, if you are a business. And you are um, you have a business page? Please make your business page public. public. Your business page on social media has to be public. Always. Always. Um, you know, you might get somebody, and if you're Muslim and you're like, oh well, I don't want brothers lurking on my page. That brother could be a customer. You know, and you shouldn't have anything inappropriate on that page. Um, if, a business page, it if, should be a business should, page yeah. if it is that. Um, my business page is a mixture, and I've gotten advice of, you know, maybe you shouldn't do this, maybe you shouldn't add this on. But I find that my followers are, they want to know what's going on um, in my life. You know, not everything. I'm not sharing. Just a little bit. But just, just a little, little bit of life you know that I am page. a person. Um, that advice that I got, um, mashallah, I got it from Melinda Emerson a couple of years ago, who is, if you Google her, she is considered the small business lady. Um, back to Alima, one of the things that I would say is make sure that you have a business page, and that business page is what it is that you're <coughs> promoting. Um, sometimes it's very hard. Um, I gave up on separating my business page from my personal page because people would follow, they would follow me and then inquire about the business. So it's hard for me to say, well, don't talk to me here, go here. You know, sometimes that can be rude and my lines got blurred. Your, maybe your lines may not, but it wasn't a negative to me. I don't believe it is. And I think my numbers actually speak for itself because alhamdulillah, I have, um, <coughs> I have a lot of social media followers on all three platforms and they're all organic. Organic meaning that I didn't you. pay for anything. It was solely from my product services, personality, character that people chose to follow me. And that's something um, I've talked to business coaches and you know, when they wanna 
almost when they want to discredit you, like you're not really a business. Let me see what your followers are. <laughs> and then they look and they say, oh, you have 3,000 followers. Oh, maybe you do know what you're doing. Um, it matters in, in today's society as a business. If you have social media, the amount of followers you have matters. So think about that. You don't have to accept everybody because there's some crazy people. But you do want to build up your followers because um, you can make money from it. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm working on I'm no to longer, I no longer uh, post anybody's things for free. Oh, I gave that up a long time ago. <laughs> I'm sorry. And, and a lot of people send me stuff and they be like, oh, sis, can you post this for me? Well, it's, it's more than that. For me, um, I... <laughs> I don't like, and I've had conversations with other businesses that have tagged me in their business. Um, oh, you can't tag me in anything that shows well, on my page anymore. Well, it doesn't. I have to, um, have I to also have it. to approve it. Um, but I think it's disrespectful, in a way, for you to tag me in something that you're promoting when we haven't had a conversation. Um, solely because what it's doing, whether you know it or not, many just don't know. But when it is that you tag a business owner... In um, their in your post and you're promoting a product service event or whatever the case may be ultimately what you're doing is putting that out to their followers and you haven't had that conversation you know I don't think you would I don't know what star but you wouldn't tag a star and expect it to go on their page and they promote your event service mm -hmm. or product and such like that Just and I because. think sometimes as small businesses we fail to realize that there's still an etiquette to it and it's a conversation you know if I choose to promote something, that's the choice that I make. Now, but I think it's yeah. a conversation that we should have. Uh, it's just common courtesy. Yeah, but opinion. covered in business, um, I'm building a brand. And I can't build a brand and make money if I'm doing everything for free. And I don't mind helping people. Mm -hmm. Not at all. Um, I have different business owners on here every week. You know, and if you want to promote, you are more than welcome to come on the show. Um, get your 10 minutes to shine. And... Um, promote during the interview. But, no, I'm sorry, y'all. I can't. <laughs> somebody laughing at me. I can't, um, I can't promote your business um, just because. All well, right, I still um, do sometimes, but, you know. Well, some people I do. Like, but you're not going, I don't, you never like any of my pictures. You never speak to me when you see me. You and never then, patronize me. You've you, never been you to my You don't support, shop. I do. You haven't. I, you you I haven't support, shared anything that I've ever done. Exactly. I, sort, I support a lot of people. I do a lot of stuff. And um, my nonprofit. You don't have to support covering a business. You don't have to support DIY. You don't have to support a step above. Um, support my nonprofit. I don't mind. I don't mind looking out for you and everything is not tick for tech, but you know, I support support my nonprofit. If you can't do nothing else, support my nonprofit. I think, um, the I think the message should be, you know, I don't want anybody to take it the wrong way. The <coughs> message should be, you know, um, when it is that we're doing promotions, anyone's doing promotions, it should be reciprocated. You know, if you're not doing, if you haven't done business with a person, it's really hard for you to ask them for a favor. You know, uh, it, it's with anything. You wouldn't want And that's what it is. It's a favor. To, yeah. And, you know, it's nothing wrong with it. I ask for favors all the time. And I understand when you say, when you tell me no. Um, you know, mashallah, Aaliyah Kabir, she's a great friend of mine. And I'm like, listen, I need ABC. How much is it? Mm -hmm. You know, because I know you've done so much for me that was free. It's time for me to pay you for your service. Yeah, and she's talking about AZK Communications. Yes. You definitely I, want to link with her. I, you know, it's easy. And she'd be like, <laughs> girl, it's no problem. You know, the same with Aisha. Listen, I need ABC. How much? Yes, I know you're going to do it. You may do it for free. But I still have to put that out there <laughs> before it is that I just take it for granted. And that's somebody that's close to me. What more? How much more for those that you are not close mm -hmm. to? Until you try to give me stuff for free too. Yeah. When I go in the store. We ain't gonna talk about that. Yeah. But you know, I pay her. I you have to respect your friends. You know, even though they're your friends in business, you have to. Respect. Today I went to to Leah's shop. Ag Ag um, one stop shop. Okay. Um, and I purchased something and she was like, oh, well, this is actually such and such, but I can give it to you for this. I said, no, I'm going to give it to you 
I'm going to pay the price that you that it is. Mm -hmm. I said, because if everybody that walk in the door and you give everybody that, a discount that walk in your door, how much money have you actually lost? I said, so the sales and the promos, that's you want to give deals, that's when you do your deals. Don't give, you know, a discount every time somebody walk in the door. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, and, you know, it, it's the opposite. Don't expect one every time you go in. You know, mashallah. Um, I think one of the issues that we have um, in business is a lot of people don't understand pricing. Like, they don't understand how to price their products and services. Um, and so many people, I look and I cringe. But, you know, sometimes people are not open. Oh, there's a the section in there on the journal. In the journal. Oh, oh, my goodness. Out of price. You know, pricing, <laughs> um, when you're doing a, a product or serve a product that you purchase. Um, depending on the product, minimum it should be 2.5%. When you, um, for crafters that are, you know, seamstresses and such, there's an app for, um, I think it's called Crafting Calculator. If you actually put in everything that you've bought, sold, your time, your and you're cheating yourself, and such, you're cheating you yourself. You would be amazed. Or <clears throat> something else that I tell crafters to do seamstress, crochet, um, crochet master crocheters, and such, is go questions. to Etsy. Go to Etsy.com and look for that product or service that you sell and look at the price. And again, price. I'm But we again, some you questions. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yes. Um, Duha Abdullah said, no brick and mortar stores keep their doors locked to screen people at the door. Keep it public. True. Oh, very true. My <laughs> doors are company that have, um, they're always open except for at night. You know, I can't let everybody in at night. Um, Samira Samira Abdullah said, how do you register a name for a particular product or a tagline connected to your business? Um, I don't, <laughs> mashallah. Um, you, you're dealing with trademarking, trademarking and registering. I don't have all of that information, but there is a wealth of information on, um, I believe it may be the IRS's website. Yeah, everything is on the IRS website. Um, when you register your name, how you register so, your name. Okay. I can actually, Samira, I can send you the link um, when we're finished the show. I'll send you the link for the information. You have another question? I have a question. But it's on irs.gov. Um, yeah, Alima said, I do Facebook. Shucks. I do Facebook. Uh, made me hook it to my profile page, but it's doing well. Alhamdulillah. I just have to do better with posting, inshallah, keep me. And do I just put a um, make a schedule? Even if it's once a week, every Friday I post a post, and then increase it as time and yeah. ability um, moves forward. Alima, you gonna need that journal. Not you sure gonna need not. that planner journal. So sure Michaela um, threads threads by M. I think I said it right. Mm -hmm. um, asked for the breakdown. Uh, she said break down the garment cost. You do it best, mashallah. Um, well, the first thing that you have to look at for garment and when you're making a garment is the cost of the fabric. After you do the cost of the fabric, then you have to do the cost of the thread. Um, if you're serging it, you if you're serging it along with um, actually sewing it, you're looking at three to four serger threads plus a, a sewing machine thread. So that's a cost. Now you also have to look at the needles. What type of needle do you need? Because based off the fabric, you need a, cer a certain needle for that. So we got the fabric, we got the threads, we got the needle. Now we need to pay for, guess what? The sewing machine. The wear and tear on that sewing machine every time you make that garment. After you take the wear and tear of the uh, sewing machine, you now have to take into consideration the electricity to actually sew the garment. <coughs> now, we've only touched the surface. The next thing you have to look at as a seamstress, you have to look at how much is your labor? How much are you willing to be paid per hour for that task? So if you put all those things together, some of these prices that people charge is amazing. You have lost so much money. I don't know about anybody else, but P, uh, Pico, Pico wants their money every month. <laughs> and, you know, I never forget. I think Aisha was in the store one day. And I was yelling at Pico, like, oh, my God, y'all just did something to my bill. My bill shot up $100 extra and such and such. And I was like, I'm only open on these days. And he pulled up my bill. And he said, well, ma'am, 
at the, on these days, it seems like you use this amount of electricity. And you know, the days you were selling. And I had the mouth to Aisha. I was like, yeah. Oh my God, that's when I did those marathon sewing for the store. Overnight. Oh, oh we're going to leave that long. So, you know, mashallah, when he did that, I had to sit back and say, oops, okay, I didn't take that into consideration because my electricity increased by $100. So I have to take that hundred dollars and break it down. So that's just a snapshot of how you have to price things, and there's some other pieces to it also. All right, um, Jerry um, Aladdin, I said, alaikum. I use Facebook to advertise. Also, use Twitter, Google, YouTube, and recently started using Instagram. I am still learning Instagram. I'm doing sales affiliate for additional income. Oh, I'm glad you talked about sales affiliate. A lot of people don't know about sales affiliate. Um, sales affiliate is when you go through the um, big companies. Mm -hmm. And if you do have a website that people are promoting, um, a big website, if, well, you have a website, you can actually put ads. Mm -hmm. Say like Best Buy. You can link your website. You can link to your website to, to Best Buy. And if someone clicks on... Um, that product and buy it, you actually get a, a profit, um, a percentage from the sale. Um, so that's excellent that you're doing that, Jerry. That's that's awesome. Well, one of the things uh, for Jerry, uh, look at, are you paying for marketing? I'm sorry, advertisement, or are you just promoting on your page? Because um, one of the things you have to realize is the algorithms for uh, social media have changed. They've changed to the point that if you're not paying for marketing, only a select few people are seeing your post. Sometimes it's it's beneficial um, to pay that you know twenty dollars, ten dollars, five dollars, whatever it may be for um, the marketing for the advertisement. Other than that, you know people may not see your product or service or event until after the fact. Awesome. All right, y'all, so this is the close of our discussion. Um, <coughs> if you would like more information, you can always join um, the Covered in Business Network. Come to our brunches um, where we discuss a lot of business information. Um, also, you want to keep tuning into the show to get more valuable information. And I hope, you know, we gave you guys some great pointers in a short amount of time. Um, I want to promote uh, an event that I'm actually sponsoring, Covered in Businesses, sponsoring this Friday, the poetry event. Yes, mashallah. Yeah, the poetry event is this Friday. It's um, a great lineup of um, poets. Yes, I'm, I'm so excited. And I will be doing some poetry. Uh-oh. Um, some old stuff. Well, I have a couple of old pieces I'll do, but I've been writing. Uh, I'm going to do one new piece. Um, that's f this Friday from 7 to 11 at, um, at my event space. You better be there. Don't play with me. <laughs> um, at my event space at 1803 North 54th Street, a step above event planning. Um, please come out and support. It's a group of uh, Muslim Malina. What is... Um, I'm trying to think. Natoni, Najma. Those are the three that I know... Yes. And personally, um, I'm not sure. Tesleen, maybe? Tesleen. Um, I'm not sure. The young sister that we had on here last week. So it's it's a great lineup. Um, $20 for the ticket, $25 at the door. Um, we do have VIP. Um, I know y'all like being VIP. I think Make I sure y'all come. Yeah, Can I because get a but VIP. It, it was a joke, y'all. It was a joke. Chef A Tasty Creations is doing the food. Listen, let me tell you, her food <laughs> is the bomb. I hope she has some yes. lamb. I don't know if she's gonna have lamb, but you know, her food is really good. Yes. Yeah, so, um, inshallah, y'all can come out um, this Sunday. Um, our nonprofit, um, Atia is actually, you know, my co-host Atia. She's oh, actually the president. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's the president um, of oh, the So We'll be I feeding this Sunday. Yes, we're feeding this Sunday. I have not completely um, solidified it with Aisha, but inshallah, starting next week from Wednesday through Wednesday through Saturday, we will be collecting. Uh, winter is coming. 
you know, Lotus is in Game of Thrones. But winter is coming. It's going to be cold, inshallah. Hats, inshallah. scarves, gloves. We're collecting um, outerwear, hats, hats, cloth, hats. Scarves, no blankets. Uh, no blanket. Um, we're looking for hats, scarves, um, mittens, gloves, and such um, things to keep you uh, keep um, our um, recipients warm, inshallah. If you can, they can be dropped off at Amatullah's Treasures, uh, 6303 Lansdowne Avenue, uh, Philadelphia, PA, 19151. Uh, that is Wednesday through Friday, Wednesday through Saturday between 11 and 7 uh, p.m. Inshallah, we greatly appreciate you, and a flyer will be coming shortly. I'll make the flyer. <laughs> um, Stripe Muslim, how much is the VIP tickets? I believe they are thirty-five dollars for VIP. I believe they're thirty-five dollars. You'll be like served by a little hostess, my daughter. Um, <laughs> it's going to be cute. It's real cute. All right, y'all. So we have to wrap it up. We got to get out of here. Um, we'll see y'all next week. If you're interested in the Covered in Business um, Network, visit us online, www.coveredinbusiness.net. And we'll see you next Wednesday at 7. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah.